we last left our heroes with something very interesting. So, as you know, Ghost, our mercenary pirate guy teammate, he found a box. What's in the box? It's a, <laughs> what's in the box, you ask? What's in the box? It, it, well, that, that's what our... That's what our, our, I can't speak, sorry. That's what we were wondering. Um, it, it was a very tough box to open. Each one of us tried our hardest to open the box because it was a bundle box. Why did I write so much box on here? And um, Vince couldn't open it. Apollos tries she might couldn't open it, but she did unlock one piece of the box. And at the end, it all resets. So they went up to go see Sunflower, who somehow just boom, solved. Little Mouse Big Brain. Yes. And let me tell you, this box, this one tiny box knocked out our almost our entire team. I almost poisoned the water with Red Wall, too. But eh, well, who cares about that? <laughs> While our heroes were being heroes. Yeah. While our heroes were being nourished, I would really appreciate it if we didn't, you know, put your two cents in while I'm doing this. But while our heroes were being nourished, re, um, Sunflower being nourished by her mother, Vince being nourished by his girlfriend, and Apollos being nourished by her best friend. Yes, um, things happen. That's all that I'm going to tell you. Slash boyfriend. Anyway, as we go back into the story... You have all awoken from your paralytic induced sleep by this mysterious box, which Ghost has pocketed. Now, let's start with Sunflower. Sunflower? Yeah? As you are just laying there in bed, your mother is making sure that none of the remnants of whatever this gas was is still in your system in the form of her trying to wash it out of your system by making you drink a lot of liquids. Again, I told you, I got antidote over there in my bag. You see her cheeks puff up for a, for, for a few seconds as she goes, <laughs> Forbid me trying to take good care of my, my little daughter, mind you, and she's like getting the antidote. She's trying to mind my own business, trying to be a good mother. I, I, I know mom, but I, I am I'm I'm a little more skilled in this. Oh, my tongue's half asleep still. Oh. Here she opens it for you and she says, just open. Uh. She gently pours it little by little down your throat, you know, allowing you time to plenty like, you know, breathe and, you know, swallow it because this antidote is nasty. Yep. Going down your throat. It is nasty. <laughs> She's like, uh, she's like, she's like, she's like plugging, plugging your nose on top of it because it is rank. Oh. And as soon as you finish it off, you, 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 uh, you definitely feel like the fatigue, like you've already been cured of the paralysis, but the fatigue from your body also washes away from, from the sheer amount of like stuff you inhaled. Uh, there's still some antidotes in there. Um, would you give that to the others? Oh, yes, of course. And as soon as she says that, Sunflower, the side effects of this antidote will come apparent for you as you have the intense desire to barf. Oh, my antidote wasn't good enough. No, 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 no. It is the antidote working itself, basically trying to get the stuff out of your system. This is how your body will get the stuff out of your system. Uh, so con rolls. Uh, well, with this antidote in your body, you'll instantly fail. Uh, however, okay. however, uh, I will say uh, this will no longer be applicable since you took the antidote as well. You will no longer suffer the consequences of the box's poison gas because it had a secret side effect that you guys weren't aware of that I kept secret to myself. <laughs> so the only person that would be affected still be the person so holding the box. <laughs> if you, uh, so, if if you had kept this this poisonous gas in your system for an extended period of time. 
of at least one hour, your vision would have gone completely black and you would have been physically blind, as well as your sense of smell would have been completely dead. Ha, I'm a healer. <laughs> Luckily, with Dan, with Ghost, uh, he passed his test, so the poison gas didn't really affect him. Anywho, as um, oh, a couple more antidotes out of my bag. Uh, yep, yeah, as you kind of like start like getting better and like trying to set up in the Ugh. bed and like try, trying to trying to feel better, Vince. Um, as as the Fox woman kind of gathers herself and exits your room. Your mother bursts into the room with uh, your um, uh, kind of orange fox fur covered in smooch marks. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> okay, and okay, Casanova, just open up. Okay. <laughs> she just pours it in. So. As you start feeling better, Vince, the same effects happen to you, and you have the intense desire to throw up. I just do like a one second. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, wait, something does feel right. <laughs> so, as you starting to recover, we're basically taking Epicac. <laughs> oh, Paulus. Hi. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can kill him anytime you want. <laughs> yep. So as you are in bed with Clooney by your side, dabbing your forehead, you can see what I described to you earlier to the door and you just hear a loud. <laughs> I thought the door was. Um, and you, you no, know, you just hear the door go poof, and you hear a knocking at the door. Oh. Um, excuse me, this is Sunflower's mom. Uh, I need to give an antidote. Clooney just raises up, unblocks the door, quickly grabs it from from the poor little mouse woman. She's like, oh, and she she you the door closes on her and she was like, you just hear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Open up. Uh oh. Are you refusing? <laughs> oh. I can't exactly move, can I? Can I move my mouth or my eyes or something? Or am I just. Yeah, uh, he gave you the original antidote that allowed you to not be paralyzed. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay. Um, hmm. This is Apollo just to get close the... her mouth, puff her cheeks out, and shake her head. His large paws reach, grab your jaw. Open it by force. Mm. Pours mm. it in. <laughs> Come on, can we get? And, and, and you're you're just uh, sure. What? Uh, you can try to strength check out of here. Uh, uh, this is disgusting. I, oh no no no! Ah shit! Sorry, my big fat thumb is uh, being a dummy. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Although with Clooney the Scourge, he has a he has a so ability check, that right? gives him advantage on strength checks. Yes. <laughs> Should be at disadvantage yeah. since he doesn't want to hurt her. I know, but yeah. regardless. Oh boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call tough love. So so would it be under saving throws or just strength? Uh strength check. Just strength check. Just click on your strength. Oh. Did I do it? Nine, yes. Ooh. Uh, and 19 but, on his. He didn't but, even need it. <laughs> he, you're trying to like hawk it up, but like, like he like, like massages it down your throat. So it like is forced to go down and it is nasty. It is just pure nastiness. Like it is like the taste of like that's like if you like if you're like really dirty and you take a shower and you get that sludge at the bottom of the thing, it's kind of like that kind of looking kind of taste. Yeah. But you wow. do feel instantly better. <laughs> well, until the uh, the you know it kicks in, then it's like, wait, what? Then I <laughs> am breaking. I am breaking that damn box after this. Like, Apollos doesn't even try to hide her voice at what this point. Box? He's over it. I, I don't know. Um, Ghost, I think his name is. He, he brought a box from your expedition. Nope. Oh, that one. I was wondering where that went. 
What? Mm. Oh, speaking of which. Mm-hmm. Here, take it. Can I move? Yes, you can. Cool. I, what, what am I taking? Uh, he holds out a closed paw. Mm-hmm. And he's waiting for you to hold out yours. Hey, I'll hold out my, my paws. He releases it, quickly unblocks the door, and runs out. Mooney! But not before you see his normally grayish brown fur is a slightly darker tinge of red. I want to say something, but out of context, it's just going to sound dumb. What? He can't just shove that damn thing down my throat and run out of the room. Somebody's echoing. You, you, you just see a maid pause by your open door. Wise, a wide open. Quickly minds her own business and walks faster. <laughs> um, as you um, hold this thing in your paws, there is a little piece of parchment with it um, okay. that is wrapped okay. around the object. And as you untie it, it scrawled on the piece of paper. It reads, found this at the castle, thought of you, signed Clooney. And it is a it is a crystal carved to look like a amaryllis. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the word, but it is a type of flower. One sec. I got to look something up. It is spelled A-M-A-R-Y-L-L-I-S. Amaryllis. Oh, that's pretty. Yep. Bloody, you're echoing. Am I really? Well, you're echoing our sound. Back. I'll be right back. What color is it? Shit. Sorry. I was just hearing double for everybody. Is this any better? Testing. Testing. Okay. Test. Sounds better. Okay. But yes, uh... It is a crystal in the form of amaryllis. As you, uh, it is actually a unique kind of crystal known as a, a rainbow crystal in the Redwall series. The rainbow crystal, even in the darkest of places, show with all the colors of the rainbow. Do you guys want to know what an amaryllis symbolizes? Dang it. Welcome. Sorry. I think, it, I think it might be on her. No, because when she talks, it echoes on you. I can't help that. I know. Uh, I'll, I'll just, like, go over here. Is this better, guys? Yep. It doesn't sound like it. Uh, yep. Anyway, okay, so we'll just have to deal with it. you guys want to know what an amaryllis symbolizes? Yeah, sure. Strength, love, beauty, and determination. Oh, yep. That's cute. Which is why it's one of my favorite flowers of all time. Can't say I like flowers. <laughs> Ironic with my name for my character, but yes. <laughs> this is not Skittles, okay, Ghost? This is not Skittles. Anyway, as we get back to the normal story, you all, like, come out of your rooms at roughly the same time, looking like you were hit in the stomach with a very disgusting bug. <laughs> yep, Ghost is just <clears throat> currently sitting in the in the cafeteria, just eating. Is do, I see a, do I see everyone else's uh, condition? No, oh. they are currently upstairs. Yep. Oh, they're upstairs, okay. Are you okay? Uh, he had to touch the rock. He had to open the box. The box was fine, it was the rock inside, it was trapped. Ugh. I never liked that box in the first place. Ugh. Which? They're always asking what they smell like. What? Uh, what? The rock. Get it. Anyway. Vince walks up with kind of a goose. Give me a moment. Oh, somebody must be at the door. Un momento, well, I know it's not Granny. No, Granny's actually been visiting him. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. It is, but she has to drive to get to him, so... Oh. It's very sweet. But wow, she really does care about. Me. She yeah. needs to just she needs to get like an Uber boy to go and just be like, bring this to him. No, she'd rather do it personal. See the look on his face. I should know. Grandmas are sweet like that. Eh, not mine. Well, okay. That was that was my neighbor letting me know that um uh uh second harvest food bank will be coming in in the morning, so I got to get up extra early. Food. Yep. Cool. Resupply when I am quite frankly fucking broke. 
Anyway, um, so there we go. <sighs> kind of hot in my room. Uh, what did I miss? We uh, see Vince. Yep. Everyone got out of their uh, rooms as if they've been at a day of the pub. Vince walked yeah. up looking yep. a little different. Well, Vince still has a goofy smile on his face because, you know, still happy. He's still, still covered in kisses? Yes. Yep. He, did. he never said he bothered to wipe them off, so. It seems like Vince had a better time than anyone else. Vince, <laughs> what is this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned. When you say not to worry about it, it automatically makes us worry 10% more. It's not a bad thing. Let's just leave it at that. No, it can be a very bad thing. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> no, I am following. Nagging sister. I guess sister. we're all going to the cafeteria. I need to get this taste out of my mouth. Uh, well, you do see um, as you're walking down. You, as you happen to be walking down to the cafeteria era, you see Father Hugo is like is like rushing almost up the stairs, and he sees you. He was like, "Oh, hello. Um, I heard you for a uh, poor." Poor people were under the weather, so I baked you some mini, mini cakes. Thank you, Hugo. Just grabs one. I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to walk. You come walking. back here. I'll grab one too. We still need to talk about this. <laughs> no, he, 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 me. Tell me. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, character. I'm just laughing my ass off the situation. <laughs> yeah, Friar. I meant Friar, not Father Hugo. Anyway, my apologies. Thank anyway. you, Friar Hugo. Oh, by the way, little Polish, I made sure that they are that there are extra strawberries in this one. I know you like them. Thank you so much. There is down the empty tray. I'm just gonna allow you guys to role play this out. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Well, if you really wanna know. Yeah. Oh, I kinda figure what I know, but I want to know so I can set things right. When I was paralyzed, she said she she decided to take advantage of the situation. Who? You know who? No, so your mom. At- who? She has never met the Wait, woman. Oh, your mother? Uh, no. I question: Do I see her anywhere around? Uh, there is indeed a white fox currently eating some brekkie in the corner of the room. I point over to the white fox. I am stomping over there. Grab! No, 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 no. Protective no. sister mode. You better roll because. <laughs> We're not having very good rolls, you know. You're going to try to stop me. You better roll for it. Okay, I guess I'm making a strength check. Here I go with the strength too. Give me a second. I'm getting there. Uh, can I use athletics? Uh, uh sure. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm using dexterity or Our athletics. What? Um, yeah, trying to get out of it. So yeah, you have to beat his score. Nat one, nat one, Hush. nat one. Uh, for the moment, I'm using inspiration on it myself. Abuse. Nope. It is not called being a bar- not barbarian. Shoot. Barbaric. Bard. Ah. Hush. Barbaric. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh shoot. I meet. I beat. <laughs> I, we don't know. You might have a Their different. Their skills role. are matched. Come on, Vince, I believe in you. Oh, don't, don't. Let me double check all of my things. Vince, do you remember the name I gave her? Uh, I think you actually never told me her name. <laughs> Good, because if I did, I didn't mean to. <laughs> she is very appropriately named. Uh, as you, um, as your sister tries her best to get at this lady, she is like, I, what are you attempting? I wanted to give her a piece of my mind if I could get (laughs) away from Vince. (laughs) Unfortunately, Vince meets with your athletics. Uh, So he does grapple you. However, your sister is a lot stronger than you realize, Vince. So she is fighting against your grip like nobody's business. Currently, she's sitting at a a, a, at a table with a very uh, tiny um, with a very um, I'm going to homebrew this because this is all I could find, but it is like a former, like, a, looks like a bit of her own fur wrapped around her, like, um, 
wrapped around her neck as sort of a scarf. Uh, the picture I chose, however, has a little ferret. However, just imagine it doesn't have the ferret. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, she has very beautiful um, yellow eyes, pure white fur and red um, earrings. And uh, she um, so play this out, play this out. Go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> you let go of me right this moment. No, no. She seems startled. Oh, um, hello. I thought she was mute. Nah. No, she was. She was deaf. Oh. Well, at this point, I'm not. I'm letting go of my sister, and I'm just kind of like, let go, let go, <laughs> let go. How uh, dare she? Can I? Can I help you? How dare you take advantage of my brother? I didn't take advantage of your brother. She blinks a few times. Insight. That's such a low roll. Uh, in, still good. <laughs> uh, 16. Well, in her eyes, for you, what you're seeing is she is telling her honest truth. She did not take advantage of your brother. Because I was not resisting. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's her thoughts. Not mine. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Takes a strong man to not see what's in front of you. Vince just goes, calm down, sis. It's all right. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, well, we're not um, it's can, clearly can not. We, can we at least start over and possibly be friends? She seems genuine. I have to make you roll for that because at this moment, she might outright not like her. My name's Winter. That name, really? <laughs> the more the merrier. I know. Unusual name. Oh, look at that fur affinity image. If it was fur affinity image, there would be boobs out. I was Touché. almost imagining the little fur around her neck as her hair. Because I know sometimes in Red Wall you get hair. Oh, yeah, that is right. Yeah, you can imagine it as like a as like a long ponytail kind of thing. Uh-huh. Just cut the ferret out. <laughs> yeah. Again, I did the best I could, but... Hey, at least I got a character sheet for her. Yes. That finally fucking works. By the way, that was a pain in the ass. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, sometimes character sheets don't work for me. People out there watching can't explain it. Tried figuring that out. Can't explain it. Anyway. Well, Winter. Well, is there anything I can do to make it up to you if I offended you in any sort of way? Staying away from my brother? Vince goes... That's going to be hard. <laughs> oh, Her ears go down. I can make it a lot easier. She was like, oh, um, OK. Um, well, it's I just disappointing, know. but um, I, I'll I stay with the caravans. Sunflower, we're being mean to her. I'm not mean. She clearly She's crossed messy. the boundaries. You, man. Sunflower, that was a bit hard. Harsh is when you're taking advantage of somebody who can't move. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, I definitely did that. See? Vince goes, Ar I'm I sorry. Can... He has a cute face. Oh. And Vince just goes, am I complaining? <laughs> and on top of it, he gave he gave me an idea to help me with my ear condition. Huh? I unfortunately had to deal with some deafness earlier on during this season because we were attacked by the spiders. Unfortunately, my ears got insanely inf infected and I oh, couldn't I could hear. That. He gave me some suggestions since no poultices were seemed to be working and it helped. Turns out I needed to wash out my ears with help from others. Out of character, I know this very well because my right ear is going deaf on me. Yeah, I gotta go see a specialist. Yep, see. <laughs> Uh, so backing. she bows very, very deeply and she's like, I sincerely apologize. I can't say I fully trust you and that's understandable. I'm a fox. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. He's my brother. Do you mind letting me go now? Sure. Brother, uh, <laughs> I love to have feet hey, on my gr um, ground on my feet. Your feet on the ground, do you mean? That too. <laughs> I let her go, I guess. Instantly starts attacking. <laughs> no, she has her arms crossed. Angry mouse noises intensifies. Kind of, yes. By the way, I can understand those mouse noises. 
rolls. What? Just an angry, angry squeaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Son of a gum chewing funk monster. Why the fruit does this funny crap happen to me? Forget my life. No, it was life. more of a son of a mullet goat. <laughs> anyway. She's not cursing because none of that is possible. As you um are talking to one another, um the uh the white fox uh kind of turns away, glances back, and saunters off in a way that on purpose kind of chasses her hips as she walks like out her. the door. <laughs> yes! You knew what I was going for! <laughs> His been drooling. Ooh, God. <laughs> Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Vince, if you're speaking, I can't hear you. <laughs> well, Vince isn't speaking. He's looking and he's like, <laughs> you just see him. Humana, 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 humana. Exactly. <laughs> Does 11 hit you? <laughs> no. Dang. So you hit my you armor. See, you see the Wait, bike coming a mile away. You shouldn't have armor like, on. You just woke up. Oh, then with my dex alone? That is true. Yeah, let me check. I am dex based fighter. Because it's heavy armor. That takes a lot more time. Yes, it does take at least an hour to dawn. It still misses. I remember quickly. Ah, dang. Oh. Just in dex alone. Question, Darn. did he ever undawn it? Well, I'm pretty sure. Well, he yes. Uh, yes, he, he, he has to undawn it technically, but. Okay. Yes, especially like, uh, like any time he wants to sleep. Yeah, he kind of has to. And he never said he re-equipped it. So I think he might re-equip it like as soon as he gets the chance. It's just he hasn't had the chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it, but she still misses me. I, yes, I have of course. Sex. Darn it. Hey, um, did you guys get any winter clothes? Uh, no, no, I didn't buy any winter clothes. I just have, well, I have some fine clothing and some common clothing. You see eyes start to shine. What? Shopping! Huh? But I don't Shopping. go out in the snow very often. Well, let's get to have just in case. Opalus drags both um, Sunflower and Vince. Wait, what time is it? It is currently morning time during breakfast hours. But so yeah. we're going Opalus towards the market. starts dragging them both oh. out to the market. Why are we so going to her again? Yes! <laughs> no! Yes! And Vince is not complaining. He's walking happily. Ah, <laughs> I will bite you. <laughs> That's if you can hit him this time. Anyway, uh, really quickly. I, I, not I, 20. Um, wow. Damn. Oh, I think so that you hits biting? you. <laughs> well, look, zero plus three. <laughs> well, OK, so comparative to your height, Vince, um, um, so she, since she didn't say whether or not she was jumping or not, she nips you on the tail. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> he grabs that shit and bum, I can still bite. Uh, but really quickly, we need to go to <laughs> a quick break because my neighbor came by and she said she had some food that she was holding for me. So, all right, switching over. Yeah. yeah, all we were talking about was like emphasizing how the foxy lady sounds like a uh, song you'll hear from a noir story. Yes, that's why I was like, oh, dear Lord. Huh. The woman looking for the truck. Uh, piano and saxophone in the background. Yep. Uh, so seriously disappear at some point. As you go outside in the heavy morning. Um, and a lot of night comes from me for, because uh, somebody bit my tail. You totally deserve it. Uh, you need yeah, a boyfriend. <laughs> open up, up the doors to hear the noises of the market as the usual monks and friars of Redwall Abbey have found themselves of use in the Abbey and be basically giving these market dwellers some business. You hear quite uh, the commotion around one of the areas. Um, apparently there is this very loud individual. Um, uh, you hear the advertisement all the way from the door. It's like, it's like, come on, come on, get your chance to win this prize. How cold is it since we don't have winter clothes? It's snowing. It For is, it is, um, 
it is uh, potentially lose your tail to hypothermia and a cold. There's no clouds in the sky and it is high winds currently. Oh, I go up to the stall that sold um, where, where I bought my cloak from, my winter clothes. Yep. Oh, how are you doing, dearie? Hello again. Um, do you have any more winter clothes? I want to buy some for my friends. Well, I need to know what species they are, dearie. I got a mouse and a fox. Oh, well, what an odd couple. No, no, I think they're siblings. Oh, odd siblings then. She fishes around the bottom. She's like, oh, okay, let me see here. Takes her about 20 minutes by that by that time, Sunflower. You can't feel your nose. There you go. <laughs> Here, try it on. See if it fit. I'm slipping into it. Does it fit okay? Uh, it, uh, just so you know, each of these winter costumes come with uh, come with a mask with it, so that you can warm your nose and little things for your ears. They thought of everything when they were making these. How much does it weigh? Uh, in total, it weighs about ten pounds. Oh. It is very heavy clothing, and it is very warm. Oh. I- I, I feel better already. It's kind of like it, it's it's kind of like that moment where like those kids who have like too much winter clothing on that are like kind of like walking like a penguin. It's kind of like that feeling only not so much puff, but you're definitely warm. So I'm oh. guessing you're getting the same. Yes. <laughs> um so yours has like things for your ears and your nostrils as well. Just like all right. Well, since you put them on, I guess you're taking them. Now it's time to talk trade. Yeah, I'll step up. Absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll deal with the here. Come on, guys, it's my treat. At least let me help you. You already made poultices and, yes, and tonic. How many times have you dealt with trade? Once. Exactly. Okay, then. What do you want? Well, either you pay me in gold or you trade me something worth equal in value. And how much would this cost? And gold pieces are valued, let's see. Tim gold pieces a piece? No, I'm saying... No, I was asking sorry. if are both coats ten or is it all ten together? And gold pieces... <laughs> Lassie, I'm not going to charge you an arm and a leg. It's five gold pieces. What do you think I am, a weasel? What race is she? <laughs> She's an otter. Clearly not. You're a very beautiful and very lovely otter. He's roll what? a charisma that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll me a charisma check. What's up? What's up, um, ghost? Hmm? No, I just sneezed. Ah. Come on, roll. That's a plus. Okay. Oh. All I saw was a plus. Okay, oh. stop. Oh. That's a charisma I save. Oops, need a sorry. Christmas check. Sorry, let me hit the check. I don't know why. Don't you must oh, ah, I accidentally did charisma. that. Okay, here we go. Too much charisma. Okay, 18. Why is it? Good to know. Oh, that's because of that one thing. Okay. I may actually come off flirty. <laughs> oh, well, I greatly appreciate it. I may be getting up on yours, but I do a lotion every day just to make sure I make make myself presentable for my husband. Wait, I get advantage on pr- um, Christmas because I'm a mouse. It's I'll make that secondary. And that's even worse. Never mind. <laughs> So you got 18. The only way it will change, it feels like, in that 20. I was yeah. hoping, okay? <laughs> or a 19 on the die. That would be yeah. slightly better, but not enough to change what she said. But, you know, she was like, well, I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate the flattery, but you're not getting a discount. All right. So here you but I will, since you're so nice, I will give you something extra. She fishes in the bottom of the thing. She was like, there's something that my marketplace has yet to sell. And it's been cooked up in my cellar for quite some time. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you take it off me hand. And she hands you a um, a, a little black vial uh, that is kind of like, how to explain it? You know those like vials that like typically like hold like like those narrow vials that just have the stoppers in them. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Imagine one of those with like a very bulbous end. I don't know what they call those. Like a very round end kind of I thing. just call them a potion ball. Yeah. 
Oompa, basically. It's very skinny and then very... Uh, to, for example, it's like the frostbite spider venom that you get in Skyrim. Yep. It's those kind of vials. And someone left. And it was Rosie. Oh, no. Like I said, the internet problem. Yep. Anyway, she's like, here you go. Don't ask me what it is. Even I forgotten. Is it not spired? I have no idea. I'll open this up somewhere safe. Much appreciated. Black mystery point. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> well, Vince tells the lady thank you for the clothing. Hi. Mary. Have a good day. Oh, and while you're at it, you might want to go check out the little raffle that they're having going on. We heard that, but I just didn't want to die from frostbite. Oh, I know. Thank you so much for your help again, miss. Oh, no problem. Uh, Ghost, you have finished your breakfast. What are you doing now? All right, so I know, like, my character knows that we're going to do the the job about the spiders, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to go look for a map that I already know about, right? What, what map do I already know about? Probably in the map in Scourge's camp. Okay, clean, I have clean, clean, clean. Keep saying Scourge. Uh, so you're looking for a map that might be pertaining to their strategies about the spiders. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, you start heading outside and you hear the commotion about winning something for free. It's a raffle. Come join us. Uh, you have the possibility of winning all that good stuff. Is there anyone around me? Mm, no, but there is quite the crowd that is gathering at that place. OK, I'm curious. I walk up to the first person within the crowd and tap his shoulder. You tap his shoulder. Luckily, you were careful about it because it's a hedgehog. Ooh, can I help you? What seems to be going on here? Oh, dear. you're giving away something mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. Who is? Oh, that there. He points over and you see a, looks to be a, um, well, to say he was, to say he was stout-like would be an understatement because he is in fact a stout. A distant cousin to your kind. Right. Usually stoats are a lot more physically strong and they're seen as brutes and typically employed as strong men, bouncers and mercenaries. Are they an honest bunch or do they have the tendency to? They are notorious yeah. for being shifty. All right. With that knowledge, I squint and try to listen to. Is he is he like chanting about the item he's about, he's uh, giving away? Yes. All right. I try uh, to listen as to the rest it. of you come all, come along. He's like, come one, come all, please enter into the contest to win the great prize. How did we that enter? I. <laughs> Alistair's in their regards. What were you saying, Rio? How do you enter? Oh, well, let me get done with my spiel. Sorry. Yep. Oof. Fuck. Take a drink of water. Yeah. Don't know where that cough came from. What the fuck? A fly flew into his throat. Oh, man. I hope not. Anyway. Uh, yes. Come on. Come on. Please enter to win this fantastic prize that I, Kevlar the Great, have found personally in Mossflower Wood. This item is so reclusive, so amazing, that you, your fellow, my fellow woodring creatures, you would be a daft creature for not wanting it. All you need to do to simply enter into this contest is simply put your name into the raffle. Wait, what is it? What is what? The raffle? Oh, it is a Wait, box that you put... What is the prize? Oh, you would like to know the prize and everyone is like, Yeah, we would like to know what the prize is. Oh, well, my friends, my fellow wooden creatures, as he takes out a set of keys that is attached to his hip and he unlocks the thing on the pedestal. Allow me to introduce to the only thing that has ever injured Muti Kira as he like reveals a weapon. What kind of weapon? 
Thank you for asking. I was waiting for that. <laughs> it appears to be a rapier. Interesting. And it is shining like the moonlight. All right, so my name's now on the ballot. <laughs> um, do I need to roll something to figure out why is it shiny or... Ah, uh, you can give me a history check, of course. Jumping up so I could see it, I'll take a good look. Nope, somebody gets in my way. Ah, uh, that's Dang a it. natural one. <laughs> uh, uh, you, uh, as soon as you try to jump, um, y- you are instantly blocked by another creature who happens to pass by you at the same time, <laughs> and you Rude. bump your head against their elbow. Hurts a little bit. Dang it. Are you okay, Sunflower? Yeah, I just... To me, tall people. Tall animals. Fences goes, you want to get up on my shoulders? I'm still angry at you. Yeah, okay. You want to get up on my shoulders? I'll I may not be close as close to the ground. Brother, but you can still see. Okay. I'm sorry. I wonder if Clemmy would want to join in. I don't think I ever saw him with a tiny sword before. Hmm. It's shiny. Oh, you're ta- oh, you're talking about the giant rat person that's sitting outside of our walls. The same hedgehog what? speaks. He already put his name in the ballot. He's standing right over there, actually. Vince gets a sly smile. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that, that's good. That, that's amazing. I'm putting my name in the ballot. Oh, no, that's weird. I could have swore that there was some sort of rumor about Mooty Kara. And as soon as, like, you see the stoat, like, starting to hear this, he was like, well, hello, friends. I see that all the um, names are in the ballot. Let's... Wait. No, I haven't put my name in it. Oh, my apologies. Oh, hold on there, no. As you're continuing to put your name in the ballot, I could have sworn that there was something. I don't remember. Um. Oh, that's right. Moody Cura. Oh, well, since you put your name in the ballot, let us make sure who wins. <laughs> Seem awfully nervous here. Give me, a, give me an, give me a, a perception check, please. Perception. If you're looking for shifty characters. Woohoo, sixteen. I'm not going to roll because of that natural one before. Yep. Um. So you are not seeing anyone. However, um, Opalis, with your perception, you can barely make this out. Oh. You see an individual kind of like every so often shift through the crowd. Like if you weren't paying attention to it, you would have missed it. This person's stealth is pretty amazing. Not goat, not uh, shadow amazing, but pretty damn good. <laughs> and they, uh, you see that this person is pilfering things off of people. Whatever this business is, okay. is a scam. Okay, I, I'm going to try something. I'm going to walk up to him, but like not make it look like I'm walking up to him and then bump him. Ooh. Deception. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, I need. Okay, so you're bumping him. I want you to make a strength check, Apollos. Since he's not paying attention to you, I'll give you advantage because he doesn't notice you. I will have to make a dexterity throw for him, but he'll have disadvantage because he doesn't notice you're there. Okay, can I also give myself inspiration? Yeah. I'm Uh, hyping myself up with this mentally, like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Did I do it? Uh, it Not yet. There we go. Okay, so we have a 22 on the board. Nice. So I need to make a dexterity throw. Well then. Okay, so um as you as you bump into him, what what do you say? Like what do you do? <laughs> well, it depends on how hard I bumped into him. It is a 22. Did I bump into him to make him fall? Did he stagger? He got a natural one. You could do whatever so you want. <laughs> I could do whatever the fuck. <laughs> Say that he fell and everything he actually grabbed. You kick him in the nuts. Sorry! (laughs) (laughs) I mean, technically, yeah, he didn't see it coming. Oh my 
my goodness. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. I drag him over out of the way, sit him down. It's like, oh my gosh, are you hurt? Are you okay? What do you and think then, like, you're out of doing? Crowd, I drag him out of the crowd, sit him down. It's like, are you okay? I make sure I'm right next to Clooney while I'm doing this. Oh. Clooney's there? Oh, then this. Oh, God. Then this is not going to be good for him. When did Clooney show up? He was always a, he was always a part of the crowd as part of like the you know contest. He wanted to win the contest. Yeah, but oh, he was okay. sitting off to the side. Yep. So does a thirteen hit you, Wallace? Um. Yes. Oof. He he had already did this as soon as you tried to pull him away from what he was doing. But you me. did get into the visage of Clooney, so this is going to be bad for him. <laughs> By the way, Vince would have noticed this. Yes. Uh, so as as you pull him away, you see Opalis and you see this stoat uh, just pull a stiletto knife and just stab her right in the gut. Oof. As you take, oof, jeez, 12 points of damage. Holy God, that's that's brutal. That's max damage of what you could gotten for a stiletto. Does anyone scream? Well, Vince goes, what the fuck? And I'm running at it. Running well, as he tries to as he tries to book it, I need to make a dexterity throw for him. And let's see here. A dex check for Clooney. <laughs> and when it comes to Clooney, uh, his favored enemy are Oh. Though our weasel family, which includes stoats, along with foxes, mind you. Uh, does Ghost hear this commotion? or is he So that's a natural 20 on his end. Uh, yes, you hear the commotion. Well, Vince is going after him. So. Yes, I that as, the, uh, as the stoats, plural, start, they see the commotion and they start packing things up. The other one, like, closes up the thing books for it. Clooney has already grabbed the one who stabbed Opalus. I am. It doesn't take two steps before he is caught. I'm going to yell uh, thieves, close the gate, top of my lungs. Wait, the market's in red in, okay, uh, instantly you say that, uh, you uh, see mice like crowd at the center of like the front gate. Um, and yep, <laughs> uh, they have blocked off the entryways. <laughs> Opalus, uh, you are currently, uh, because it is a stiletto knife, you currently have a bleed effect on you. So uh, if you every six, uh, every six seconds, which include a round, mind you, Should we roll for uh, you will, you will no, oh well, someone needs to take care of the bleeding. So every six okay. seconds, this is not taken care of. This will bleed her another uh, three hit points. All right. No. Well, Vince, and I'm currently well. counting as I talk. So no. Vince is on the way. Okay, Vince, medicine check or whatever you have to do. No, to stay. no, Constance. <laughs> you don't Constance want Vince to help you. Is not in Constance is in the infirmary. I think oh, she wins. Really? That's, that's I don't give a shit if you want permission. Look, 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 I am remembering what happened to Friar Hugo. Vince? <laughs> you know what? Fine, fine, fine. She, she yeah. should be calling for uh, Clooney. <laughs> Clooney's busy. I mean, you're hurt. Fuck it. Okay, um, so that's... Okay, so by the time you treat her wound, Opalus, fortunately, Vince was quick on the draw. And so you only take another six points of damage because of the stiletto. He manages to staunch the bleeding with expert um, uh, um, bandaging and sewing. We'll be sewing first and bandaging. Yep. And around you, you can see all the things he lifted off of the creatures as you bumped into him. Um, you see, uh, you see six stoats. No, you see six stoats are currently surrounded by every member of the Redwall army, quote unquote. The militia, I guess. Yep. And 
You don't know how they got out here, but some very angry Dibbins with sticks in their hands. Proudly there with Sunflower telling them how bad they should not steal and blah, blah, blah. And hurt their favorite big sister. And you just hear Peach going, you picked the wrong big sister. As she just taps her stick in her palm of her paw. So who's doing what? I need to know. Well, after patching up uh, my friendo here, Vince so, stands up. Oh, okay. Now look menacingly. Intimidation check. Aw, Ghost. Yankee. <laughs> what are you doing? Ghosty poo. Okay, so when I noticed that the, you know, uh, the commotion and that uh, the bunny got stabbed, and I looked back at the space, you know, so they were uh, quickly packing up. I put two and two together and uh, pulled out my sword and attempt to confront them. Okay. Um, just so you know, you're going to be a part of the circle that is currently encompassing six in total stoats that have found themselves in the crowd who were all lifting things off of people. Yeah, you're pretty intimidating. But Vince, as you see, the, the person who stabbed Opalis is not currently paying attention to you he's currently paying attention to the two swords currently pressed against his throat along with the long rat tail with the snake fang on the very tip of it oh now you add a rapier to it because it's now pointing at his face <laughs> right how romantic pointing just well, inches man. from his eye why do you care? She's just a bunny. Ooh. That bunny is my friend. <laughs> my, my, my excuse. Just and I'm bunny. looking at, I look at Clooney and I just kind of give him a wink. Ew. Uh, <laughs> just you a look bunny? At, yeah. <laughs> you look at Clooney, Vince, wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> the fear effect is going on. Oh, if it's fear, I have, I have vanished. Well, I still need you to make it. Give me a second. Bad, I know. It's fear. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Even ah. though you had advantage, you are feared. Um, as his, um, you see his second class activating as his barbarian kind of primary class takes effect as he enters into a rage. Oof. Angie. The gritting of the teeth. That's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a weird. Like, uh, not moving away, but uh, because I know he just angry. instantly drops the sword, grabs his face, and rips off his entire head with his bare hands. Bloody hell. I thought he was going to take a bite out of him, but okay. <laughs> Stands there. The body just <laughs> topples over. You had your rapier right next to him, so it inserts itself into its his body. Hmm. As Clooney takes the head and basically just starts gouging his long claws into the skull, ripping out his like eyes and teeth and tongue just absolutely going feral against this creature just going oh. um should we give him five minutes or something because we we have others to worry about right yeah i think you got this uh away away run <laughs> <laughs> like you see i take like one step two step hold on really quickly someone's at my door again give me a moment Nah. All the meantime, we hear that gouging sound as we are facing the six other. We're like, uh. Yeah, this, this went a lot faster than I thought it would go. Yeah. Normally, that's how it goes for shopping trips. <laughs> oh, he sounds excited. What'd he get? I thought it would be a chase scene or something. Oh, well. Maybe it's Grandma. We have to grandma! So, um. I don't exactly know what that is. Oh, uh, he's still talking to someone. Okay. Well, thank you. Again, I appreciate the offer. Yeah. 
But no. It's Grandma. He's trying to hook him up with his daughter. <laughs> what? I love you too, Granny. <laughs> All right. Granny has a daughter that she wants him to date, but she doesn't know about you, Apollos. Hmm. Well, he said he, he has a girl. Excuse me. <laughs> so that was that Grammy. That's Granny at the man. door. Justin, Justin, you are my man. Ain't no oh, one else. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, to explain, she keeps on insisting that I go out with her daughter, who is married, by the way. She's just a very forgetful granny. <laughs> and I said, I'd greatly appreciate it, but I'm seeing someone who is very precious to me. And she's like, okay. So I have no idea what the fuck I am holding. Take a picture and let us see so I could tell you. Later. No, well, uh, it's probably going to be gone by the time. Okay. You're going to eat it. <laughs> Yeah, possibly. Okay, the mess over there is still going on. What about the six that we okay, surround? Okay, so I would like to try some. Yes. All right, since we have them surrounded, correct? Yes. All right, so with my sword out, I shall walk forward a couple of steps to be off the crowd at least, to make myself possible, visible as possible. Yeah. And yell out, so... <laughs> This could end in one of two ways to have their attention. Yeah. Either you fight and all of you will die, or you don't fight and only most of you will die. What does it make sense? You hear, you hear the mouse when that did. One, one of the stoats pipes up. He was like, you hear a very tiny voice in the midst of the stoats. Um... I wasn't a part of this. Can I get out of here, please? Well, you, you see, see all the stoats just turn. It's like, what's a little kid doing here? All right. So, well, you see, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But one of your mate hurt the boss's girl. And since he's one of yours. Uh, you're not here to To me, my friends, us. you're in a really bad spot. As you are saying this, there is quite the commotion as you see um, uh, Deathclaw. Red Tooth and Fangberg desperately trying to hold back Clooney, who has finished off with the body of that stoat and is currently trying to claw his way to the others that are currently in the circle. Oh dear. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> that is a nightmare. Okay, so coming. I assume that the uh, uh, the one who was uh, doing the the announcement or whatever is the boss. They all nod their heads and you just hear the word, you assholes. <laughs> if you bring them here, I'll probably put a good word in for you. All of them turn their backs to you, grab one individual and shove him forward. All right. So is he being shoved towards me? Also return the it's things. currently you. within a few inches of you. All right. I grab him very tightly around the scruff of his uh, front. Make sure he doesn't try to uh, run away as I drag him over towards the boss. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Yep. <laughs> okay. For the, all of you rest, uh, please drop your weapons and bow the nice mice over here. And we can try to hopefully keep you what alive. What if I never had any weapons? Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Also return the shit that you stole. What if I never stole anything? You don't have to don't worry about it. Who the heck is this you talking? There and somebody, somebody you just see, you just there. see what looks to be a very scared preteen stoat has been lumped together with the rest of the stoat and is terrified out of his unbelievable mind. Where's your parents? Um, I don't have any. And you're hanging around with these people. They took me in. I was trying to train in order to pick pockets is what they called it. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm still going to get you together until we can figure things out, okay? Okay. This place technically is an orphanage. We're going to adopt it, right? Scary. There is a by the way, by the way, uh, something's killing me right now, so I gotta know, just out of curiosity, what the fuck is a churro? Oh! Churros? It's They're like, are bread. you talking about the dessert? It's, it's literally a cinnamon stick and I love it. Yeah. He okay. gave it's me like a... some stuffed churros stuffed with chocolate and custard. Ooh. Oh, yeah, my like goodness. That is great. Can I make you that? What? 
eat it, eat it, eat it all. It is really I d- good. I just, I, I've never fucking heard of a churro before. Is, bit, is that me being shallow? No. Is that me being shallow? No. The closer you to the south you are, the more common it is to see churros. It's so like the closest know. thing to a churro you'll get is like a, you know, those uh, pretzel cinnamon, cinnamon pretzels. Oh, okay. So it's similar. It's like, okay. Fried, okay. Like, uh, my my apologies for yeah. getting off topic, people. I just, I just, it was just killing me because it's on the plate. It's steaming hot. So take a bite. Yeah, you it's good when it's hot. Take a bite. When it's it gets hot. extremely it's hard. When it's hot. Hot. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna take like, a really quick you, bite. Yes, I'm sorry, about that. I'm just I like, like, how have you not heard of churros? He's gonna burn his tongue, and then he's gonna go. Ha, 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 ha. That's the best part. Uh huh. I want a churro now. I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> Baby's first churro. Mm. I used to cook churros a lot. Man, you guys are talking mm-hmm. about adopting this kid. I'm ready to put him in the army. I'm not adopting no yeah. kid. I'm adopting the kid. <laughs> man, you guys, man, you guys are sheltered. <laughs> I'm not necessarily hey. adopting the kid. I'm saying that we, you know. This place is meant to take it. They do take in children. Well, yes. Yeah, this is right. this is like a huge orphanage. Yeah, but yeah. it's not. But it kind of is. Yeah. You see, you see where I'm from. We put the infant in infantry. This, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this this place is notorious for being um like fucking lord. Those are good. Uh, uh, this place is notorious for like if families are poor and can't take of their care of their kids they redwall will take them in feed them but the parents will be able to reg- regularly visit them just so that the kids can grow up last i checked i'm not from redwall yep no anyway but you're staying here uh, after the game either way yep those sorry about that other five are getting disarmed this item mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. probably put in the shed until further mm-hmm. notice mm-hmm. it's like it's like fucking fireworks going off in my fucking mouth. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, how have you not heard of churros? My my family. I swear to God, after we cut off the stream, because I don't want anyone attacking my family, but uh, I just have to say my family and that be good enough. Anyway. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> so as you're like getting all the stuff, they took quite the few items. The only person in this entire stoat kind of mercenary group or whatever it is that didn't take anything is literally the boy. Okay, then I'm probably going to just pull him to the side and keep him away the from the guys if he actually has absolutely nothing. Uh, the only thing he has on him appears to be a very basic tunic and what appears to be a training dagger. It is made of wood. Taking that away. Am I going to be a prisoner? No, no. sweetie, you're not going to be a prisoner. Oh, Apollos, you're okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Would you watch over here? Welcome. New child? Sure. Okay. And you just hear in the background, I'm going eviscerate you and fornicate with your skull! I swear to you! And those children, Who's please. Famous? Clooney. And uh, what did he say? Because you were cutting out for me. Uh, Basically, a lot of he was going don't... to skull fuck them. Uh, he was going to eviscer- eviscerate them and use their gas intestinal tract as a condom. I am while asking, I am asking yep. the, that's, the That's the literally what I said. That's what I said. But he, he made it. before talking. Oh, yeah. Uh, say it again, Vince, so that she gets it clearly, because I can't really say it in that kind of voice without, like, cutting out. I'm going to eviscerate you and use your gastrointestinal tract as a condom while I fornicate with your skull. There we go. Did not what? need to hear I'm it going that many times. Yep. But, okay, come on, little ones. You too. I talk to the preteen. Come on, inside. As as the stoats are being led away, Clooney managed to grab like one of their tails and just rips it off at the root, and that's all he manages to grab. No, 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 no! Don't don't look back. He senses fear inside. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I approach the boss and say, "Hey, boss, gotta get his attention." Uh-huh. I need uh, Apollos and Ghost to make persuasion checks 
if you're going to help out each other, which it sounds like it is, one of you I'm needs to help. I'm not helping out by him attacking him. I'm just is, trying to get his attention. Apollos is trying to get the children in and not look back. Yeah. No, I'm I'm ushering them instead. I'm not escorting them. Yep. Okay. Then give me a persuasion roll. Just him? So, yep. Just ghost. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not standing next to that scary mouse. Oh, that's crack. pretty good for not having any charisma. Ooh. Yeah, especially since he's like, uh, especially since he's in angry mode. 15. Just to make things interesting. Okay. His intelligence check was high enough to determine what. Okay, what are you trying to convey to him? So I'm trying to get his focus on who I have in my hands, which is the leader of this group. As soon as you say Clooney, he is like, what? This scum right here is their leader as I throw him towards his feet. Sadistic grin creeps across his face. Okay, if the prisoners are locked up, let's all just go inside now. Everybody just bet I look inside I now. look at the uh, stoke and kind of lean over and say, this is where you start begging. What are you talking about? As you just see, one paw is just buried deep into the stomach of the stoat. As you see him just rip and tear, and you just see Clooney place his foot against the creature, against the stoat's chest, and you just see him rip out the intestines of this creature. Basically killing the cre- uh, killing this poor stoat on contact. I do not bat an eye. Please say I didn't see that. No, you did not. Good. Well, thank goodness Vince went inside. Well, I'm coming back outside. Oh, uh, no, after no. I'm done ushering the children. <laughs> uh, uh, well. You don't want to go out there. I'm fine. No, 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 no. You don't want to go out there. Just shit. I wait till the boss is done with his prey before I get his attention again. Okay. As he slowly just tosses the limp body aside, you see him still gripping the intestinal track of this creature in his fist. Is he done with, like, the body itself? Like, he has no interest in the body anymore? He has anymore? no interest in the body. Hey, boss, mind if I give a suggestion? What? We are kind of low on numbers due to the rebellion. Those cowards are pretty impressionable. How about we throw them in our ranks? Red to Yes, sir. Whip them into shape. Welcome to the Penal Legion. <laughs> <laughs> no, welcome to the Ludus, more like. Oh, welcome to the Death Corpse of Krieg. There we go. That's better. Welcome to the Russian Conscripts. Gosh, cool. As, oh, Paulus, you come back out. Clooney, you see him toss aside a piece of intestine that he ripped <laughs> from away from this person. Okay. Is now outside. Her. I, I, walk, I, I walk up to him. Clooney, are you feeling better? As he turns towards you, you see that the red in his eyes is clearing away. And that familiar glint that you see whenever he talks to anyone comes back. <laughs> it's okay, Clooney. You're okay. Got me to thank off in the distance. <laughs> As he doesn't say anything, and I'm going to roll the dice. Where is Clooney's brothers during all this? Staying the fuck away. <laughs> it's a they are freeze. actually they they are currently actually working on something in particular that I'm excited for. Okay. Three. So it's a three. Okay, so going to my paperwork. Oh no. Well at least it's not one D hundred. Here comes the full embrace with a kiss. Those are nightmares to have. Yes, 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 that title's already been used. I know. As he proceeds to say nothing and proceeds to pick you up like a princess, holds you tightly to his chest and walks you back to Redwall, proceeding to, with one hand, hold you up, take off his own personal coat, cloak, and cover you with it as we end the session there. Why am I getting mob boss vibes from this? <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you stabbed the boss's girl. <laughs> I felt I like mean, that. To be honest, has that ever changed any, 
you know, gangs of all times. I mean, we just went out shopping. Shopping. So, um, 